The following quote is taken from Amazon.co.uk, written by Craig Todd, who reviewed the book. This book is my all-time favourite personal development book. I have read it many, many times and always come back to it when I need inspiration. So fascinated was I by this book and the author that I spent months researching the life of Al Koran and the history of this book. What I found amazed me. Al Koran did not write this book. Instead, he allowed his name to be used as it was a good sales, I- sales idea for the book and a great publicity for him. The actual author was his friend and close business associate, June Kynaston. June Kynaston was a professional writer from England and as well as writing Bring Out the Magic in Your Mind, she also wrote The Mind That Works Miracles and Stay Young Forever, both currently out of print as of 2004. How do I know the above story to be true? It was confirm- confirmed to me by one of Al Koran's best friend. Both June Kai Nastin and Al Koran are now sadly deceased, but their memory will live on in the magic that Al Koran created and performed, and the magic of June Kai Aston's words. Introduction At the early age of seven, it was apparent that I had the extrasensory instincts and uncanny sixth sense, which has today earned me the title of the world's greatest mind reader and the finest mental magician in the world. Even at this tender age, I was able to state the whereabouts of my aunt's lost engagement ring, simply because I had seen it in the drawer of her dressing table. School days had their problems for me, but by this time I had acquired such an instinct that, in mathematics, I knew the answers to sums without working them out. My headmaster put me through many tests. As he got all the right answers, this made my parents and my teacher realise that here was no ordinary school boy and my unusual ability was encouraged. I read all that I could about magic, fantasy and mystery and at 15 became the youngest member of the Magicians Club. Having made history in this way, I made it again the following year by being the youngest member ever to win their gold medal. After appearing in many concerts and studying astrology, psychology and yoga under a Tibetan monk then living in England, I decided that my future career lay not in conjuring but in that more intangible field of the magic of the mind. On many occasions I have, through extrasensory perception, given predictions that have have astounded the public. At a dinner given by the press, I wrote the next day's headlines on a certain newspaper, and I was right. In Cabaret, I wrote the results of a general election on the blackboard before they were known, and I was right. On BBC TV, I wrote the first, second, and third horses in the 2000 guineas, a race which was not to be held for another two weeks, and I was right again. I have read minds and told people where they are going for their holidays, how many people are in their family, their names, birthdays and many other things. And I am always right. I have baffled millions of people on stage and television viewers in their homes in this country and abroad. And millions are left wondering, how do I read minds? How do I do this? And how do I do that? Magic, trickery, Mind reading, conjuring, accomplices in the audience, sleight of hand, what is the secret? I tell them it is pure psychology. I scorn the use of stooges and any form of organized assistance. This brings me to what I am getting at. From all over the world, people bombarded me with letters, telegrams and phone calls. They came backstage at the theater. I have now had to keep my home address a secret. Not even my friends know where I live. It is essential that my private life be free of challengers who only wish to tell me how only wish me to tell them how to win the lottery and to tell them the winner of the four thirty. 
I have great respect for my power and I will do nothing which could be used. I never bet on any race whose winner I know, nor will I hand out tips to others. People plead with me to help them win a fortune, win the gamble which is going to open up a joyous, carefree life for them at last. Why do people want to win the lottery? Do they want to get away from it all, to spend lazy days on the sun-kissed beaches of tropical islands, or tingle to the crystal clearness of the air and breathtaking vistas of snow-fringed lakes and mountains? Perhaps they want a large and luxurious house and servants to wait on them. They are tired. If a woman, she is tired of the cooking, the washing, the ironing, the making of beds, the shopping, the waiting in queues. If a man, he is tired of his routine business and all the strain and stress and worry of it. He has been doing too much. Tired, frustrated, tensed, dressed and depressed, people all wanting a way out, an escape from it all. And that is why I am writing this book. Its purpose is to help you resolve your problems by providing to you that there is magic in your mind, by proving to you that there is magic in your mind, only waiting to be drawn out. I want to tell you how to attain all your wildest dreams. For most people and nations, things are always happening which they do not want to happen. I will help you bring the magic out of your mind, so that only the things you want to happen, by the power of this magic in your mind, once it is released, will have that gleaming car, that luxurious house, that holiday in the sun, and anything your heart desires. Why spend time and money in the lottery? Why gamble on horses or bingo? You can have the fabulous wealth without spending your time and money like that, and it will be much more satisfying. Every day will be an exciting, happy day when you will work magic for yourself and others. Forget the lottery, forget the horses, forget the bingo. You have a power just as magical as Aladdin's lamp or Alf's button. It is a dynamic power with the riches of a gold mine when you know how to use it.